Welcome back to the Heads Up Show. I'm Steve, and you must be here because you like football gear, in particular, football helmets. Today is a really, really cool one. This is an adult Shut F7 XL Plus, very large helmet, which we custom painted for Mario. So Mario reached out to us weeks and weeks and weeks ago and said he really wants to make an amazing helmet that was very similar, as close as we can get it, to what he used to wear in high school for hot springs. So to get exactly what Mario wanted, we had this helmet stripped and painted with this beautiful flake in here. You gotta look closely in person, it looks stunning. We had custom 3D bumpers made just for Mario. He has an Oakley Legacy 24K visor going on here. I'm gonna be putting on this Sportstar cam lock chin strap on the F7. I know a lot of people are doing this conversion at home. I don't love it for field juice since Mario isn't actually gonna be playing with this. It'll be completely fine. I'll get into that as we build. Let's put this thing together. I'm gonna to talk a little bit about Mario, a little bit about the gear. Let's see how it comes out. I'm gonna start with these decals because they're making me nervous. Logo on the right. Golly. Putting on large decals the right way. You can mess them up in a hurry. But if you just go slow and work your way from the inside out and you're using good quality materials, you should be able to work them in and get a nice finished product like that. Pretty good. These are big old decals, man. So Mario was born and raised in Hot Springs, Arkansas. And he currently lives in Lincoln, Nebraska. And after we were speaking, he said he was gonna write in a little something, so here goes. He says, I'm a busy father of three boys and one girl. Huge Baltimore Ravens and Arkansas Razorback fan. I remember talking to Mario and seeing this design and being excited about wanting to do it because it was such a classic looking high school helmet, you know, with the giant numbers and the big old logo on the side. So I'm, I'm glad that this is finally happening. If you do custom helmets with us, just understand this is a small portion of what we do. You cannot be in a hurry. This takes us weeks and weeks and weeks, and we don't do them very often. But if you have the time, the imagination, and the budget, you can reach out to us, and we might be able to help you out. All right, looking good. He says, in high school, I was a three-year letterman in three sports for the Hot Springs Trojans two-time All-State linebacker, two-time state weightlifting champion. I saw a lot of interest from colleges for football and track and field, but is cool. long story short, he had some kids and he put his short aspirations on the back burner for his family. So to, to put cam locks on your F7, Probably a couple different ways of doing it. I'm gonna show you the way that we do it on the rare occasion that we do it. So first off, you have the actual ratchet strap side. On the F7, you see it's all the way back here. So you just have to know that it's gonna maybe be an issue, right? So some people might wanna flip it to put the long straps on the bottom. So it gives you more room and then that top part for your buckle. In this case, I'm gonna stick with the standard application. So you remove that T-post, you remove that snap post and that T-post like I did. Now, this is supposed to have a square cutout like the Speed Flex so it sits in there and doesn't lock. This won't do that. This is going to pivot. I don't care how tight you crank this or any other thing down, it's just going to do it. So I just take this 
right here, this hole, take a long thumb screw like you'd use for your visors. That leaves the perfect amount to bite on this cam lock. And then you just crank it down. So now doing it that way, you know, you're able to get it through, but pulling it and releasing it, it's kind of tough because that thumb screw is going to hit in there. Now, some people take different screws and they put it in. I just don't like messing with this too much. That's why this is, you know, supposed to be for the speed flex. Um, it just, it, it's such a cool system. It looks great on the F7. So I'm happy that we're doing it um, on this, but just want to tell everybody what to expect if you convert your F7 to have cam locks. And then for the uppers, just do a nice standard buckles. And then I always cut this little piece off here. Let's snap that on. Boom. So Mario, if you want to convert this back, just take these thumb screws off, put your T nut and your snap post back in, throw some buckles on, you're good to go. It does look super cool with the cam locks though. All right, now we're gonna take this F7 Ropo DW NB VC face mask and throw on this Oakley Legacy 24K visor. VC means visor compatible in any of the style codes for shut. Mario is one of the lucky ones that was able to get black face mask hardware. And we're hoping to get these back soon. But for right now, they are sold out. Really glad we had these for him. think awesome huh like I said I remember talking to Mario when we set this whole thing up and I was excited to do it Mario I hope that this is what you were thinking and I wonder what the folks at Hot Spring High School would think of this they've since switched their look now they wear gold helmet personally this is amazing looking I hope that this face mask and this style suits what you were looking for Mario. I know it's your special helmet, but it's going on my head first. Wow. Okay, so yeah, this is big on me because Mario is significantly larger than I am with his XL Plus, but it feels good. It feels comfortable. And I mean, I, I'm just so excited to be able to do this. And if you guys out there watching, you want special helmets made, let us know, and again, Mario and your family, Dylan, Alexa, Jalian, and Karsten, your dad says he is super proud of you and to keep working as hard as you are. Thank you so much, Mario, for trusting us with your incredible special build. And if you made it to the end of this video, you're the best. Till next time, cheers.